Capitol Hills, your district champions for the first time in program history, but their playoff road, very tough opening with Permian. But hey, tough means nothing to these guys. They got out to a great start at 7-0 already. Gael Ochoa to Marcus Torres, it was 14-0 after a quarter of play. And then Ochoa to Sam Chacon, Ed, down the sideline, 24-14, Pebble Hills at the break. Gosh, man, the Pebble Hills Spartans came out firing. Uh, Gael Ochoa doing everything he needed to do, taking his game to the next level. Going to the second half, third quarter, Permian trying to get the offense going, but it's picked off by Bobby Deal. Junior, that sets up Pebble Hills in a good spot. Very next play, yes, the very next play is Gael Ochoa finding Woo! who else? Bobby Ooh. Deal Jr. Jason, really good guy to have on your team, right? Yeah, for sure. He does it on both sides of the ball, and that's what makes him so dangerous. You don't know who will make that next play. It was 38-14 Spartans after three quarters, but in the fourth quarter, the Panthers inch closer. That score got him within 10 at 38-28. But hey, just when things were starting to get a little bit nervous for the Spartans, it's Daniel Ledesma, 50 plus yards to the crib to ice it. Your final score, Pebble Hills defeats Permian 45 to 28. Ed, how about that for Mark Torres? Hey, I don't do this often, I certified the players, but Mark Torres, you know you're my boy. We grew up together. You are now Stansberry certified. I love it, the first win in, playoff win in Pebble Hills history. They're just the third El Paso team to ever beat Permian in the playoffs. Here is Mark Torres. You know, they're mojo for a reason. That's a proud program over there. And you don't you don't just show up and beat Permian. You don't. And we didn't get lucky today either. We played our butt off and we prepared to win. We came so long, you know, because no one sees the hard work we put in during the summer and the spring. And, you know, it just feels good knowing that, like, us being the underdogs, we, we won by a lot, you know, so it just feels good, you know. You know, it's something that we didn't expect. We expected to come out with a W and, and we work hard every day for it. So I'm really, I'm really proud of my guys and my coaches. And, I mean, I'm just happy right now. Spartans will get North Crowley in the 6A Division I area round next week. Congrats to them. Over